Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, bands are here. Uro's gone, uh, Omnath still runs a large. Um, so we're towards the end of the season as well. I am kind of in a spot. I'm in like around 500 on the Mythic Ladder with under 48 hours left. So I'm just gonna camp, uh, see where we're at. So what I thought we'd do is play some more budget content. Um, with the banning of Uro, Rogues probably gets a lot better. Um, the big downside with rogues was you milled your opponent into their Uros and kind of fueled its escape. With that gone now, it makes it a little bit easier for us to play out our strategy. Um, so what we have here is a 10 rare and mythic combined budget uh, build for the full 75 of rogues. Um, we're trying to play a little bit more of a flash oriented game. Uh, the rares that we're playing and the mythics we're playing Thieves Guild Enforcer, it's really the engine of the deck. It allows your opponent, uh, it allows to mill your opponent whenever uh, rogues come into play. Also gets bigger. Uh, pair that with Zareth Sand, which can then steal stuff from the graveyard and sneak into to play when you deal combat damage. And then the Brazen Borers is both a tempo play as well as an evasive uh, attacker. Uh, the rest of the deck, we have Merfolk Wind Robber, one mana that when it deals damage, uh, your opponent mills, and then when your opponent has 8 cards in their graveyard, you get to draw a card if you sack it. The Zulaport Duelist can screw up some combat steps, as well as mills. Uh, also, this has flash. Then we have counter spells in Jawari Disruption, Negates, Drown in the Lock is both a counter spell as well as a removal spell. We don't have as many flyers in this list, so I'm not going with um, the 4 spike one, uh, Lofty Denau. Uh, playing four Heartless Axe, there's a lot of creature decks going around, so killing stuff when it comes down. Uh, Soren Thought Thief is a way to further mill and the Lord effect. Mystical Disputes is another counter spell. Uh, Black Bloom Rogue is a pretty decent creature if we get it late game and early you can fix our mana. And then our mana base, although not ideal, if you have the, the dual lands, play the dual lands in Demir. Uh, then Sideboard, I'm getting a little creative. Um, Without Uro now, we can go all in with the mill plan, playing Omnath decks. They're going to thin out their decks, so bringing in the crabs against them. Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst, just as for creature matchups. Duress versus Controlly matchups, another couple of negates. And then I thought Unsubstantiate is a pretty good tempo card. Uh, we can bounce stuff on the stack. We can also return our own spells uh, if something's being killed. So just kind of further playing into that. Uh, the... The non-budget version that I'm playing and I'll link this as well in um, the video afterwards I know what the last budget content people are asking so it's kind of similar uh, it's going more and I'll flash with the slither wisps as well and then with the sideboard you have other things like Ashiok, Shark Typhoon, Extinction Event and the Nighthawk Scavengers so there's some room to kind of wiggle around there and further build it out. Budget Rogues part two let's try this again the first one never counts, right? Let's not fat finger. Um, so this is actually a two lander. So I think we keep this. Actually, it's a three lander. Umari can be uh, Winota. Getting this down on one then allows us to play a bunch of other things. This can be mutate as well. Hey Jetty Mike. Yeah, that one, uh, I'm 10 and 0 with it so far. So it's got me basically where I need to be on the ladder to kind of uh, keep it up to the top 1200. So, yeah, it's mutate. That's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, dog. Don't want to deal with scoot swarms. 
So opponents on the mutate scoot scoot plan. They should be able to counter most stuff now. Because they're not really inclined to mutate onto their mana source. What they want to do is mutate onto Scoot Swarm. Okay, so now we do need to play this out. I've had like like I've been dumpstering even um whatchamacallit like Saltai with it, which was like the ultimate valley value deck. Um three So I think what we do and then I just bounce it. We give him, we let him have the mana, but who's Sultai? It sets him back tempo wise. Being choked on blue mana has been a bit awkward this game. So what happens is with mutate, if you're not familiar, if you kill the creature they're mutating on, they don't get the mutate effect, but the other creature does resolve. Uh, so just three. So we're going to bounce this back to the opponent's hands. Just trying to set up where we can... So Mystical Dispute can counter it on the way down. So I think we might want to go up one more land. Let's playing. Pouncing Shore Shark as well. Just trying to get this turned on at least right now. They will get to mutate something. Even if we just had a second blue would have been good this matchup. These Brazen Borrowers could have flashed in. Decent amount of lands still in our deck. Six also makes this a lot more useful as a kill spell. They go Sterix here. Which it could be. Just get a land. Cool. No blocks. Fine, we can't trigger it anyways this turn. I'll just kill this. Hey Kyle, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. How's the streaming been going? Gyruda. Okay. Pouncing Shore Shark. So we're going to kill this. Ooh, I can steal their greater Gargaroth. Hmm. Heartless Axe also pretty good. So, I 
can kill this. I don't want him to mutate anymore this turn. So let's just Heartless Act here, and then I have Drown in the Lock for whatever their follow-up play is. Yeah, I had to go up uh, a lot higher in terms of internet when I was streaming. That's fine. What have you been playing standard mostly, or are you doing drafts and stuff? That's fine. I can just kill this. So for us missing lions, we've kind of hung in there quite a bit. I think this is a matchup I'm going to bring the crabs in. So here we're going to swap these two, I'm going to hit him for four, and I will take an Elder Gargaroth, please. That's mine now. So opponent needs like Ugin. After this game, we're going to go up one more land, I think, in the deck. Probably another island. Cool. Opponent's digging. Could be like Sterix is their best one. They would have enough mana because of the cost reduction. Okay, just Imari. They're kind of forced to block here. Oh. GG. Uh, I guess they can pop one of these. All right, budget rogues. Blood Chief's Thirst, Unsubstantiate. Um, the gates are literally do nothing. They're a creature deck. Uh, so this can't really get through most of their stuff. No, standards just, um, well, sorry, one sec, let me just sideboard. Uh, we'll get rid of Zulaport. I think we just run it like this. Or maybe trim a couple disputes on the play. Um, so I can play rogues and not have to worry about milling my opponent into Uro. Um, they killed Sultai, so if you don't like Sultai, it's gone. But now people are figuring out if you take everything that's awful about Four Color Omnath and everything that's awful about Teamer Adventures, you can merge them into a hybrid, annoying deck as hell, like... The biggest thing with adventures is they didn't really gain life, and now with Omnath, they're basically gaining minimum four life a turn with all their other shenanigans. Have you played the format at all? I'm uh, camping right now for the top 1200 this month. I'm at like 502. So just waiting to see um, 
see how things go with like 46 hours left. I'm on probably like the bubble, so I'll check every so often. Figured do some budget content. People might want to get into standard and not play Omnath because I don't think it's possible to do a budget Omnath, just four colors alone. Actually, I'm curious. How many rare and mythic wild cards is Omnath? Weird, it's not even coming up. Um, this hand is going to be a mulligan for me. This hand is great. Um, like Xerath San is our biggest off but we're a ways away I think we keep it like this no I'm not it's got to be way more than 16 to 20 So like my non-refined versions, 27 rares, 19 mythics. And that was the one that I was like memeing with Scoot Swarm. Do it. Oh, those are some fantastic flips. So we can drown for two, I can bounce something, or I can kill something. Oh, the lands, yeah, yeah. Well, they do play a, for it being a four color deck, you gotta give it credit. They are playing a number, a higher number of basics. They usually will play like most multicolor decks. Mm. to kill that kind of surprised they didn't goose and then play that mm, so I can't play both anyways so we'll just pass if I could have played this and held up one of these I would but we'll just do it for next turn scoot swarm let's counter that Mystical Dispute. Okay, so of note, they, yeah, they took out Umari, so. Sorry, one sec, my dog's acting up. Hmm, there's still a few lands away. So I'll let him get a token here. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to have a hard time getting through this. Uh... Well, we're getting an Elder Gargaroth. Oh no, they have the Goose. I take that back, we're not getting an Elder Gargaroth. So they probably play Scoot Swarm. So I think what we do is we hold this up, because then I'm just going to flash in the Borrower. 
And then that gives me two attackers. The swarm's a bit annoying. Let's see if they play it out. Want to get a couple more cards in their graveyard as well. They might get a little aggressive with attacks, seeing just a 1-1 back. Flash this in. We haven't seen what the black's for yet in their deck. It can be the like other Godzilla. We have a fight effect. So I actually think we do we want to reset our brazen borrower? It gets less damage in this turn, but it lets us bounce something after. Elder Gargaroth. We can always sack this to draw a card. Probably should play this out now. I'm not going to get much utility out of it. Hey puppy. Come visit. They just hard cast Therics. So let's get this out of the way. Oh, you can just play like two Sterics, perhaps. Do you want to go wide here or draw a card? I think we want to draw a card here. Perfect. Drowns exactly what we want. In like the non-budget, I'm playing three. But I think it's like one of the best payoffs to being able to have like these cheap evasive flyers. Let them resolve first. Hmm. Okay, we'll kill it afterwards. I want to get this in play as a flyer. So I can do this, I can just bounce it. I think we just do this play. Sick. Opponents had enough. Xerath stealing Gargagons, Gargaraths. Budget time. So for those tuning in, we are playing Budget Rogues. Combine ten and rare, uh, rare mythic and uh, rare and mythic wild cards in this one. 
uh, Xerath's uh, Brazen Borrowers, and the Thieves Guild Enforcer. Everything else about the deck is commons and uncommons. We are playing in unranked right now because I'm currently top 500-ish. So we're trying to camp for the season. Took down Simic Mutate, Scutate. Run another one here. Then see how quick the game goes. Might do one or two more. Getting a bit uh, hungry for some dinner. What are lands? You know what? We forgot to add a land. To the deck. I meant to do that. So opponent two may be on the rogues. It's actually really good. Counter their first play. Oh, no, I didn't want to mill myself. I did not read that card. I thought you had to target its controller mills. So that's not as good as I thought it'd be. I thought it just mills on ETB. play out here was I probably should have done that in combat see what they do here They're at four cards. Nighthawk Scavenger. I don't want to give him the mill there. All right, dispute's pretty nice here. This has a lot more utility. So this is something that we we'd play in a non-budget version, the Nighthawk Scavengers. Just kill this. So for a multi five, we're not doing terrible. We can uh, hopefully catch them. So we have seven cards, they have six. Would really like some sort of card advantage. We can still catch something potentially with the disputes. Okay. We're out of action. They can Xerath us here. Mind you, Xerath is pretty low value for us. Gates not that good in this matchup.
Interesting, they didn't bother to wait to take a draw step. Because if you draw Zareth there, you're in a pretty good spot. Okay. They can get basically just the Merfolk. You can block and sock it each turn. Probably dead here. We really needed to hit one of our own Xeraths. We got the Scavenger. Also gonna have a hard time winning this race now. Okay, that's nice. So I can try to surprise blocker. I think it's really about getting this to stick. So we counter here. Stops them from playing anything else this turn, but we're pretty much dead. Xerath is basically what we need. We're taking seven. So it's a matter of just seeing here what we get. But we're basically dead. Yeah, especially with the Enforcer. All right, sideboard time. Well, in this matchup, I want to try out the Crabs. And I think we just bring the Thirsts. There's duelists were pretty bad, to be completely honest. I don't think we want negates. Disputes were pretty good. Maybe we trim a dispute. I might trim all the disputes and just play unsubstantiate. It does a similar effect of tempoing our opponent. Let's go all in on this mill plan. Crab on one. The crabs were mainly in here for the uh, Omnath version, uh, the Omnath deck, but I do want to try it out to see how it is against this rogue deck. We want to reliably get them to eight cards. Us only having two Xeraths is probably going to be a big factor. It's garbage. All right. Well, I did say crab on one. Let's go. Keep on top. Keep on top. Hopefully they needed lands. Can sneak this in if they don't play anything. Like this, we've already turned on our Thieves Guild. Crabs are legit, so we can counter basically anything they play or just kill. 
They can poke us for one here. Hesh Riot, thanks for the follow. It's going to be uh, going to be a no for me. Playing some budget rogues. We took down Simic Mutate. Playing some Mirror here. So the entire deck is uh, four Mythics, six Rares for the full 75. Thieves Guild being uh, four of the Rares. I think this is fine. If they're just milling us one a turn, it's not really doing too much. Would they hit? Soaring Thought Thief would have been nice. They're playing into the story. Interesting inclusion there. Thieves Guild, not enough. They have a second Thief. Oh, I wanted my Xerath. So Soren Thought Thief, that will put enough into their yard. I think we do need to kill this here. Makes their blocks a lot worse this turn. They will get to turn it on with an attack now. We need some card advantage in this deck. Both of those would have been great. Also would have been great. Also would have been great. So in the non-budget version, I'm playing more of a Flash variant with Slither Wisps. I'll do a full video on that one once the season resets. They're very aggressive. I guess they want to hit a line there. I think this we just gotta... If they want to trade for one of these. Soaring Thought Thief. That may, I, I want to keep one of these around. It's good pressure. Twenty six cards. What have we seen? No. So we've seen all wind robbers. Seen a rankle, mystical dispute. No Zareth out of them. Yep. So let's bounce this. Hopefully they don't have disputes. Negate. Yikes. Scorch27, thanks for the follow. Alright. We're done here. I'm not going to be able to race the scavenger. Because even if we get Xerath, we're dead on board to the attacks. So what I did want to do was add in a land. Cut a Zulaport. And play one more land. Actually, if we do another land, then I think I want another. So let's do it like this. 
another black bo bloom rogue. And I think instead of these unsubstantiate, we want into the story. I like that from the opponent. Just for the more grindy matchups to be able to draw four cards will be useful. Let's do it like that. So let's play one more. See how that goes. Uh, I'm just going to give Arena a quick reset. So as it loads up, um, if you're new to the channel, I'm MTG Joe. I stream three to six times a week, uh, usually shorter stints, but all my content is up on my YouTube channel afterwards. We play a variety of meta decks as well as brews and budget decks. Um, currently, just kind of camping because we're close to the top 1200. We are playing a budget rogues deck. So 10 rares and mythics combined, Brazen Bar, Zareth, and Thieves Guild are your rare cards. Everything else is pretty much, if you've drafted the sets recently, you should have most of the cards. Um, we'll run this for one more. It's felt pretty promising. It's very easy. Um, I do have a non-budget version that I'll link in the YouTube video after. Uh, I've been working on that since the ban of Uro. Mm -hmm. And that growling in the background is my pooch. All right, I think the sign's fine. One, two, three, curve. Adventures. Are we Gruly boys or are we teamer? Yes, I will take that trade. I'm going to do this now. I think from a tempo play, it sets us up pretty well. Next turn, I can drop down this rogue. Stop it, Abby. Ooh, Thieves Guild, then I th think that changes the proposition a bit. We can get this going. This gets better. Uh, let's do this. They can't really attack this turn with it, and I'd rather keep this alive. Because then I could flash in this and the Brazen Borrower. Again, if they want to trade this, I'm happy to offer this trade. So, Golgari Adventures. Questerson. That's a top deck. So let's play this out. Still one short. I guess we could have attacked with this. It's pretty free. Let's see what they play out here. Hopefully they try to go for like Gargaroth. Could be removal. Yeah, like, again, the opponent's offering us up these trades that are just really advantageous for us. GG's. GG's opponent. Tempo. 
So this is a all kill things matchup. I think it's just a clean cut of disputes for that. Actually, we can get rid of a couple negates. Probably is going to be a grindier matchup, so I don't mind having these in. I think I may cut those because they don't really get through a lot of their attackers and just play some crabs to enable milling. Let's do that. Let's try that out. The crabs also block pretty well. They have a lot of like two power things. Because I feel like they're going to target our Thought Thief or uh, Guild Enforcer. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, I think for now it's Drown in the Lock. I do this on one. Merfolk and kill something on two. Kind of go from there. Get rid of their card advantage. Let's me start poking in at them. Okay. They got their own thirsts. I think at that point we have this come into play tapped. I want to keep up counters. If they don't play anything, I can go Thought Thief. Have removal here. Okay, that's fine. Had a quick crash. Wow, this is awful. Okay, so I'm just going to concede here. We lost our timeout in priority, so I couldn't counter this. We'll just fire this up again. Arena Crash took too much of our uh, ability to play that turn. Because ideally it would have died, we would have countered the Harbinger there. And then been able to get in. But once Harbinger is down, we can't really deal with it other than Brazen Borrow. Keep. Get some Xerath Sand action going. Change my mind. Mill Crab time. Oh, this deck's pretty cool. Gotta try out something like that. So we got a removal spell from that. Which isn't too bad. Keep it on top, which bodes well. Untapped line would have let us. Uh... Okay, well. Next turn, we're getting a questing beast. Counter whatever they play here. For a Gargaroth, but I don't think we'll be picky here. Uh, let's go Questing Beast. Second Rankle. Like they can attack and sack, but I'm just going to get rid of the Questing Beast. See what they do here. Which 
player discards a card. This gives us added attack. Because now I can steal their rankle. Yeah, I take their rankle. Dunzos! Dunzos, Dunzos. Alrighty, folks. So that wraps it up. I'm gonna snip this video. We'll have it up on YouTube tomorrow. Um, and that'll continue with the deck. Um, like I mentioned, the non budget deck. Kind of annoying, Arena crashed with only four minutes to continue, but this will be like the non budget deck, so we'll play this on the next stream. Um, this will have all the upgrades so we can kind of piece it together. But a lot of the themes we saw in that other deck, you really want to just tempo your opponent out, get that mill going, and then steal stuff with Zerasen, and kind of beat them with their own bombs. Um, so I do appreciate everyone stopping by. As always, you can catch my content on my YouTube channel. And uh, stay safe out there, and thanks for tuning in.